Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at five simple tricks to speed up your AutoCAD drafting and design. Let's jump right in. All right, so first up, did you know that you can copy and paste external references from one drawing to another while maintaining the paths and location of that external reference. This can save you time of adding new references. If you already have a drawing set up and you want to copy multiple XREFs or a single XREF from that drawing to a new drawing, simply open up the drawing with the XREF in it. You can see this one here. I'll bring this over. So you can see in my references list, I have an XREF floor plan. Now say I wanna bring this to this blank drawing three, simply select the XREF in model space, hit Control, Shift, and C at the same time for copy base point. You can also use the copy base command. And now it's going to ask you for a base point. You're gonna use zero comma zero to keep everything in the same location. You're gonna be consistent and use zero zero as your base point in this drawing and zero zero as your paste base point in the new drawing. I'm gonna hit enter and it's now copied to my clipboard. Now simply go to your blank drawing here, drawing three, you can see we don't have a reference in it and hit control and V for paste or paste clip is the command and then use zero comma zero as your insertion point. Hitting enter is going to place that XREF in your blank or new drawing, allowing you to forget about trying to find it or path it in. It's gonna keep the same settings, which in our case was overlay and a full path. Now, if you're using reference paths, you're gonna need your new drawing to be in the same folder for that reference uh, path to work. But this is gonna save you a ton of time when starting new projects and setting up new drawings with already existing base plans and references set up. All right, so tip number two, if you already didn't know, you can actually drag and drop objects into AutoCAD. In particular, you can drag an image directly into your model or paper space, linking it instantly without having to go through an insert window or dialog box. You can see on the screen here in my images folder, I have a manhole detail. Maybe I wanna trace or copy this, or just bring it in for a background reference. Simply selecting the image and dragging and dropping it into your model space is going to allow you to instantly insert an image or a PDF or a variety of other objects directly into your drawing. You can even do this with DWGs if you want to insert them. Clicking a uh, base point is going to place it and then you can simply scale it. If you know the size or scale, you can enter that in as a scale factor or you can just place it uh, and hit enter again to stop the rotation command. Now you can see that my little detail here of a valve is automatically inserted into my drawing. I'm free to now scale it and trace or simply have it in here as a reference or on a layout or page setup. Maybe you wanna just drop in a handful of images of details and call them out or specify them in your drawing packages. Again, this one's going to save you a ton of time and it's one of those little tricks that you'll learn over the years that is gonna make you faster as you compound a bunch of these on top of each other. All right, so similar to that last one, did you know you can open drawings simply by dragging them up to your window? Now you can see in this window here, I've got some AutoCAD drawings, simply dragging a DWG or DXF file up to the top bar of AutoCAD is going to automatically open it in your instance of AutoCAD. This is gonna save you a ton of time. You don't need to type in open. You don't need to browse for files. Find them in your Explorer. I tend to keep my file Explorer open and on the left side of my screen. Dragging those files into my AutoCAD is saving me a ton of time. They open just as quickly and you don't need to browse for them at all. All right, now possibly the best and most common tip when learning any software is learning these shortcuts and alias keys or short command keys to help speed up your processes in everything you do. Now with AutoCAD, this is especially important since almost every command in the software can be typed on your keyboard into the command line. Learning these short keys is going to speed that process up 
even more. One of the biggest things I teach newer designers and drafters is getting used to typing with your left hand while keeping your right hand on the mouse. Knowing all of these little short commands and quick keys is going to save that time even more. Commands like E for erase or X for explode, things like PL for polyline, these are all going to save you time over the years of drafting and as you get more comfortable with the software, you're going to learn more of these. So this tip is basically learn and use the most common ones that you find yourself repeating, look them up, find out if there is a shorter way to type it in and memorize that even keeping sticky notes or a sheet next to you on your desk. I actually have a uh, link I'll put down in the description below to a little cheat sheet of some of the more common ones, but this one is highly, highly useful. If you want to even go one step further than just learning the built-in short commands and aliases, you can actually edit aliases, which I've got another video for. Uh, I'll link that one down below if you want to customize the short commands for some of your most common commands. For instance, I know I like to change out the C command from circle to copy, since I tend to use copy quite a bit more than circle. But that's just one example. I'm sure you can think of a ton in your daily workflow, and it's worth checking that out to learn how to edit those. Before we jump into the last tip here, I want to remind you all that my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course is available for download right now. It's packed full of over 15 years of tips, tricks, and workflows. Tips just like these that are going to save you time and workflows that are going to boost productivity, as well as let you create professional design drawings that are going to be well organized and easy to read. The link up above and down below is discounted for viewers and subscribers. So if you click that right now, you'll get a better deal and you can download it instantly. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. It is honestly packed full of useful information. Now let's get back to the last tip in today's video. All right. So the last tip I wanted to touch on is the design center within AutoCAD. If you type in ADC or shift two, you can bring up the design center dialog box or window here. This is going to allow you to uh, pull and copy objects, blocks, dim styles, layers, line types, XRefs, layouts from one drawing to another really quickly. Now you can see up on the top here, you've got a couple options. You can browse by folders or open drawings or historic uh, drawings you've had open. I typically use the open drawings option since I'll have a drawing that I'm say swiping or copying layers or layouts from into my current drawing. So open up or switch to the tab of the current drawing you're in, the one you want to copy objects into, and then using the open drawing tab here, go to one of your open drawings and you can go and select say a handful of layers by holding shift there, right click and add. Now it's going to add them to your drawing right away. And now those are in your current drawing. You can do this for layouts. Maybe you've got a layout set up, like say a default electrical plan with a set of notes and details that you like to use in every package. You can simply open up a drawing that has that, right click on that layout and add it to your current drawing. You'll see it right away show up down here on the list. You can see it's now in this drawing, the electrical plan, and that's gonna bring everything from that layout directly into your drawing. This also works with textiles, dimension styles, layers, um, a handful of other objects. This is gonna save you a ton of time and is one of the more useful tools that most people don't even use or know about in AutoCAD. And again, that's ADC or AD Center as the text command or simply shift two. Those shift commands go back to the last tip, learning the quick commands, shift two for AD center and shift one for properties are probably going to be two of the most used uh, shift commands that you're going to need to know. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to keep this one quick and compact. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video if it's helped you out at all. Thanks and have a great day. Cheers.